In this demo, we're going to look for genes that are differentially expressed in dendritic cells. To do this, we will compare gene expression of two cohorts. One cohort, which contains all cells, including cancer, and another cohort with the cancer cells removed. Let's start from the beginning. First, we're going to select a data node. We're going to use this node. It contains approximately 6,000 cells from 18 patients with head and neck cancer from a publication by Puram et al. from 2017 in Cell. Then we're going to select an analysis app, single gene expression UMAP and clustering. For this particular app, defaults are set for your convenience, but you can change them if you want. In this example, we will go into the cohort builder and create a cohort containing all the cell types. So we just select all cell types and click use. Then you leave the parameters in the default settings and click run to run the analysis. What you see here is a cluster of all cells, including cancer cells. If you are interested in viewing the immune cells found within and around these cancers, then to make that aspect clearer, we can rerun the analysis as we just did, but modify it slightly. To do this, you select all the cells apart from the cancer cells. Then build a new cohort. To use this new cohort, you go back to the reconfigure page, select the new cohort, and run the analysis. Now you've got a cluster of cells without the cancer cells. Let me show you the first cluster again, the ones with cancer cells. This is what it looks like. And you can compare it to this new cluster, and you can see how the subclusters representing immune cells have changed. What else can you do here? Well, you can run a differential regression. This will allow you to look at what genes are differentially expressed, either up or down, in your selected cells. Let's try selecting the dendritic cells and click on the differential regression button. The genes you see organized in this list by their tag score are characteristic of dendritic cells. If you want to know more details about any gene, say this one, you can click on it for more information. Then go to the annotation tab to get more details about its function. So to recap, this demo is to show how the single gene expression analysis app works. We ran two analyses with two different cohorts and then ran a differential regression on one of the cell types to get a list of genes that govern important functions for that cell type.